What's up YouTube? This is Taylor with Strange Garage Customs and Creations. I just wanted to give a quick review of my Chicago Electric 90 amp flux cord wire welder. I always I see a lot of reviews on the, of this on YouTube and I just wanted to give my own personal perspective, some of the things I like, some of the things I don't like about it. My primary thing that I don't like about this welder is that the power is min and max. I think you should have a lot more controllability, but I guess with a 90 amp welder, you don't have a whole lot of range, so uh, that doesn't seem like you would need anymore. But I would still prefer to have more controllability in the event that you know I need it. But uh, so let's get to welding, I guess. Alright, so here's our final weld. What do you think? Not that bad, right? Well, for a $100 welder, I think we're getting a lot more than we paid for. So, uh, there's no tricks here whatsoever. Factory ground clamp, Lincoln 030, it's 11 bucks a spool at Home Depot. And then I just knock off the slag with the wire wheel. I think this is a perfectly good welder for your money. I've had no reliability issues in a year and a half. Sometimes the wire feeds a little bit funky, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, most of my welding is done on a Miller liquid cooled TIG welder. I don't really have a basis of comparison as far as other flux cord welders because I've used this one so much more than the ones that I've used in the past. But uh, I'm pretty satisfied with how it works. And like I said, I haven't had any problems with it. So and you're able to get a lifetime warranty at Harbor Freight anyway. But I've never purchased one of those, but they say it's pretty good. So I uh, hope this helps you in your decision making process.